The ones just released are the Pro Series, Pro Plus Pro, and Sony. F okay, let's first disassemble the Pro Plus. First, remove the white protective sticker. No surprises, it should be gray silicone color. You fast charging head. This time, the battery combo is the current 200 mAh super large battery and 90W fast charging. Fast charging may be a bit of a step back, but the battery capacity has indeed increased a lot. Looking at the phone, the Pro Plus has a curved screen, the bezel texture is much less than the previous gen, and then the previous gen had a completely unprocessed matte plastic frame. This time it's glossy after processing so it looks like the texture will be better. Pro Plus has a curved screen, white screen, and both front and back sides are curved. So when you hold it in your hand, the feel is still okay, its bezel thickness is more rounded. The back cover design, this is white, it has some of this kind of warm tones with this kind of small texture. On the edge at the top, there is a circle of small texture. Looking at the protrusion on top in terms of the camera, it's still quite powerful. The main camera uses a Light and Shadow Hunter 800 sensor. And then there is a 2.5x telephoto lens, including a wide angle. So the focal length range of the back cover is still quite complete, MM focal length. And then there is a speaker opening at the top, POM, and then, including the bottom speaker microphone. This time its drop resistance rating is increased quite a bit. IP666 and IP869 ratings supports IP, which also means it supports high temperature, high pressure flattening. In other words, if you accidentally wash it with hot water, soaking it in hot water is no problem. This is white. Let's continue disassembling. Here's another Xingxia Qian. This is also one of the few colors. I think this white looks quite good. Okay, whoa, whoa. Speaking of this Xingxia Qian, this Xian is also the same. The back cover has texture and the overall hue is the same as before. There is an NVIDIA K70S. It's a bit similar. Comparing the two colors, which one do you think looks better? In terms of configuration, the core configuration, the processor uses the first release 3rd gen Snapdragon 7S. So in terms of performance, in this price range, I think it's okay. And then this phone, its main competitor, should be in the 2000 plus yuan price range. In the 2000 plus segment, it should have models like Oppo's Reno 12 and then there is Honor's Honor 200. Right, the overall build quality and texture, I think, is quite refined. This time there's no issue. The 3rd gen Snapdragon 7S processor is fine. As for overall efficiency, I think it's long-lasting. Most importantly, it's very durable. It's also fully waterproof in three ways. At $18.99, it's a great deal. You even get a screen protector and a water-resistant case. That's impressive. Okay, this is the Pro model. Let's compare it to the previous 13 Pro. Here's the 13 Pro, and here's the new design. Which do you think looks better? Next is the Pro version. The main difference between Porsche and Peugeot is mainly in the processor. You can see there's a noticeable gap in quality. The processor is the 3rd gen Snapdragon 7S, while this Le 14 Pro uses the KG7250 Ortho. As for battery performance, it has changed. This time charging power is down to 45W. It has a 5500MA battery. The Pro has a 6200MA battery with 90W fast charging. So in terms of battery life, the Pro model will perform better than the standard Pro. This is the White Pro. Let's compare it with the Pro family. There's a difference in the camera section. The Pro family has an all-black camera module, while the Pro has an all-glass base color. Then, in the four rings around the camera, a separate layer of small details appears. Let's compare the two phones side by side. The bezels are almost identical, very sleek. All the designs are basically quite similar. Next, let's take a look at the black color of the Note 14 Pro. The black version has frosted glass while the lens area is matty. Let's look at the mirror, black finish, then the small push camera. The frame, however, is glossy black. The overall black design is quite good. Looking at the curved screen, its curvature extends to the middle edges, still quite rounded, so it feels good in the hand. This time, the Pro Series also has a curved screen, compared to the previous Note 13 Pro. It had a small reverse bevel and straight screen design. To a curved screen. Do you prefer straight or curved screens? Finally, let's disassemble one. This is purple, the dual tone color shown at the launch event. The Pro series now starts with 8 plus 128 GB config, priced from 1399 yuan. I think this price is quite reasonable. For just over 1,000 yuan, you get such a phone. 
It looks great and has the same IP68 and IP69 ratings as the Pro Family 3 levels of waterproof rating. So if you're worried about water damage or accidental spills, don't worry. This phone isn't just stylish, it's also very durable. Even IP69. What does that mean? If your phone falls into a hot pot while eating, you can fish it out without issues. It's high temp and pressure resistant. It's quite clever. This purple is leather textured with a solid color design. Good. Two shades of purple. Then, let's take a quick look at the camera design above. Let's look at the Note 14 Pro in three colors, examining its design, specs, and immensity. 7250 Ultra Processor. We'll check the screen and overall appearance. Now for the camera. It's using a slightly lower end sensor. The main camera is IYT. Overall, the camera setup is decent for a phone in the 1000 plus UN range. Battery wise, it's got a large 5500 mAh capacity with 45W fast charging. Charging speed might be slightly slower than before, but the increased battery capacity is a real improvement. You'll get more usage time per charge. Both Pro models have 1.5K screens with impressive 3000 nit peak brightness. The Pro's design is quite unique, with a strong focus on clarity in this generation. Like the 7S, it's fully waterproof and drop resistant. The launch offer includes insurance, which is great value. That's our quick unboxing of the leaked 14 Pro series.